So a question came up regarding randomizing curtain panels within Revit with Dynamo. As you may or may not know, uh, I've done this before with curtain grid lines, randomization workflows where we randomize the size of panels. It's been a little while since I've looked at randomizing by type or material or something like that. So I thought I'd make a cool video. Uh, so the question did come up on the Dynamo forum. So the user was messing around with some of the randomized panels and all that good stuff uh, just to see if they could do that. So we're going to go ahead and build this graph from scratch and see what kind of results we can get. And just kind of as a initial requirement, we have three panels in here that are different colors. Uh, you can do however many panels you want, whatever materials, that's up to you. In my case, I have a blue one, a black one, and I think a gray one in here. Uh, so we'll randomize them in that way. We'll leave it as glazed for now. In order to have some panels to randomize, I'm just going to come in and kind of just add a bunch of grid lines and go from there. Yours will probably be more organized than that, and that's fine. Uh, so yeah, we have a curtain wall to start with. So what we'll do is we'll fire up Dynamo, and we'll go from there. So with Dynamo open, we'll just go ahead and click New for a new Dynamo graph, and we'll start selecting some elements. So as you may or may not know, in Revit selection, we have a few options available to us. I'm in Revit 2022 and Dynamo 2.10, uh, so I have a few additional ones probably. Uh, in any case, you can always use the Select Model Element uh, selector, but in my case, I'm going to isolate this down a bit with this newer node. Uh, we're going to go ahead and allow our users to pick walls, and we'll load this. Actually, let's go ahead and do select model element singular by category, because we want this to only work on one for now. Walls, we'll hit select, and we'll select that curtain wall. Now we have a curtain wall selected. Since this is a curtain wall element within Revit elements, curtain panel, we should be able to start to find some of this stuff. So let's do, let's search for it. And we're going to find panels eventually. So let's see, curtain panel by element. So this is actually under the curtain panel category. So let's place this and this is now an out-of-the-box node. If you're in older versions of Dynamo or Revit, Rhythm has a node for this as well. Uh, so what we could do is connect this hosting element in and get all the curtain panels. And we'll go ahead and clean this up a little bit. So now we have the panels. Let's go ahead and navigate into Revit Elements Curtain Panel, and we see that we have a few more options. I want to convert these to family instances that way I have the exact uh, family definition for them instead of a system family of curtain panel. So we'll place that node as well. Now what we can do is go ahead and allow our user, if we're building this for distribution, to be able to select the curtain panel types. In my case, they're named 01, 02, and 03 to make it easier. You can build that in to where it's a little cleaner as well. Uh, so it's just kind of up to you from that point. And let's find those panels. So system panel 01, 02, and 03 are what I have. There's various ways to allow users to select these. Uh, for now, I'll just use this out of the box family node and we'll group it as an input. We'll just say family types to use. Awesome. So what I tend to do is I'll just go ahead and add these all to one list. That way I can work with that. Monocle has this little combine thing that lets you create a list automatically. I'll typically just cycle these a whole bunch of times. Um, so generally I'll take all of those items and I'll cycle them the amount of times of panels. That way I know I have more than enough for sure. Um, probably better ways to do this, but I tend to like to do that. And then uh, we'll shuffle this up as well. In this version of Dynamo, we do have a shuffle with a seed, which is kind of nice, because if you have this in Dynamo Player or Generative Design for Revit, you can feed in a seed value, which is kind of cool. 
uh, we'll use that one and we'll plug the list in. In order for this to work, we need an integer. So we're going to do a slider. I'll use a number slider. I'll round it to one and we'll plug this in. That way this is effectively an integer slider. So now as we slide this, we'll start to have options generating for us. Cool, so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and group this shuffle and this cycle and say randomize the family types. That way people know what's going on with this graph if you ever hand it off to someone. And we'll do option as this number slider's name. And we'll add it to our, we'll just kind of leave it next to our family types group. So now that we have that working, we need to take the number of items that we need. So if we search for take items, we can go ahead and grab the amount of family types that we need from this count node. And that will always give us the amount that we need. And once again, if we change this option, we'll get new options, which is pretty neat. So from here, there should be a node to set element type within clockwork. So let's find that. I think you just search set type and we have family instance set type. This is a custom node. This is probably the best way to do it that I know of. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and switch to manual run mode, plug our family types in, and then our family instances, which are right here as that as family instance. And now what we can do is we can tile this window and see this work live right in Revit. So there's the whole graph. And now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit run. We'll notice that it did some randomization for me. I'll hit undo in Revit with a control Z. I'll change the option. Hit run again. I have a new option. Hit undo. And as you change it, and we'll zoom into this slider to make life a little easier. As you change that slider and run it, you'll get a new option every time. And you can actually just keep on sliding it and it will randomize it. If you're re feeling really brave or dangerous, you can leave it on run automatic. And as you slide it, you'll start getting that dancing effect of those panels. And once you find an option that you like, uh, you can absolutely uh, use that option with this option number. If you want to kind of way panel, so give panel three more of a chance of being selected or panel two, you can add items to this list create node and plug in a little bit more of a panel type. So that kind of lets you give that one more weight to be more likely to get selected. And as you can see, there's more blue in this selection now. If I were to take that out and kind of evenly weigh the system panel two and three, we'll see blue and black are the ones that are getting picked the most. Uh, so there it is. You can randomize curtain panels with Dynamo right inside of Revit. You could take this another level and make this Dynamo player compatible or even another level and use it in generative design in Revit. Uh, if you want to see a version of this that's in generative design in Revit, uh, since, since this is on YouTube, add a comment below and let me know and I'll make a video for that as well.